Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. We're going to take a look at the software on the AT&T HTC HD7S. So first off, I'm here in the Add an Account uh, Setup dialog, and we have an extra one for AT&T Address Book. So this is something that they added where you can sync with the AT&T services on att.com slash address book so you can have all your contacts sync with that if you you know don't want them syncing with Windows Live or Exchange or Gmail or whatever so that's a cool little thing that they added and here's the default start screen and we see uh, normal stuff we got AT&T UVerse that's an addition and then all the way down here we have AT&T Navigator and at and Radio and the HTC Hub. So let's look at the UVerse Mobile. Initializing. So this is a nice uh, UVerse app that they added. All shows, only shows two shows. I don't know what's up with that. And we can download more all shows. So this is uh, TV shows that we can stream and download. Take a look at this one. Introducing you first with Windows Phone Seven exclusively from AT&T. This unique pre-installed. Here's your little intro video. Ten dollars per month is that fee. <laughs> so there's your intro commercial that tells you about the service a little more. And let's go back and look at some other. Okay. AT&T Navigator is a pretty nice navigation program. So pretty simple. You can choose a recent place. Or we can choose a city. And this is cool voice recognition. Say the city and state. White Plains, New York. And we have weak GPS signal, so this might not work. Yeah. Have some little extras. You got weather. Pretty cool little addition. Find some movies. So that's a nice addition. Let's have ATT radio. So you can stream different types of radio stations and you gotta subscribe to it. And we have some more AT&T apps over here. So this family map, my wireless is gonna be, um, you know, your account information and that kind of thing. Plus some support tutorials. And family map is when you sign up uh, with the family, you can see where they are on the map. So we have to sign in for that or register as well. 
Lastly, we have the HTC Hub, which was added by HTC. And from here, you can download more HTC apps. Get some nice weather animations. And you'll probably want to get some of these special apps. Uh, let's see, the Marketplace. We have some customizations here. We have the AT&T App Center and HTC Apps. So two extra app stores. In the AT&T App Store, we have most of the same things that is already bundled, but we also have an AT&T Code Scanner. So this is good for reading QR codes. We can install that, no problem. And of course, HTC Apps. Only the Hub was actually bundled on this device, but there's some other good ones here that you're going to want to download. Tentive Phone, for example, is really nice. So there's a bunch of more uh, free apps that you can download. Now this device comes preloaded with the Noto update, so everything should be a little faster than the older phones, although the, most of those are up, upgraded too. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little test of launching Fable Coin Golf. So let's put the old HD7 right next to it and see if we can do it at the same time. Try that again. Ready? Okay. One was faster the first time, one was faster the second time, so not much difference. So that's pretty much it for what's new, what's added with the AT&T uh, HD7S. Not a whole lot of bundled apps, but and the good thing about Windows Phone 7 is if you don't like or you, you're never going to use this program, you can really easily unpin it. You know, this is no problem. It's not really a big deal to, to remove these. And even if you don't like them over here, it's very easy to tap and hold, uninstall, you hit that, and it's gone instantly. So if you don't like these programs, it's very easy to remove them. But if you do, they're pretty cool. So that's about it for the software tour of the AT&T HTC HD7S. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And that's it for now.